Good morning, scholars and faculty and families that are joining us. Hey, it is a beautiful Thursday. That's right, March 10th. I think it's March 10th today, right? I think that's what it is. Let's just change that real quick. Whoop, there it is, the 10th. <laughs> All right, guys, on this beautiful 2022 day, let's go ahead and get cracking with our morning announcements. Alrighty, our Pacer expectations. These are the things that we live by every day. When we are here on campus sitting with you guys, we choose to be respectful. We are responsible. We make right choices. And we choose to be relentless. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah. All right. And of course, today's joke of the day. So what's a math teacher's favorite tool? Hmm. Multipliers. <gasps> <laughs> That's a pretty good one right there, guys. All right, guys. Hey, it it actually happened yesterday. Uh, the uh, Los Angeles News, uh, known as KTTV or Fox 11 News, they showed up yesterday, and it was such an amazing time. And uh, we cannot wait until the production actually comes out. It wasn't a live thing on live TV. It will be on TV, but uh, they're going to do some post-editing. But um, here's just a snort. A snort. <laughs> short snippet of uh of yesterday's event Red, so awesome guys and hey if you are in fourth fifth or sixth grade and you're interested in joining Pacer production guys come on out we meet on mondays tuesdays and wednesdays after school so it is a, it's a great time coming up to, to the front office and get a permission slip all right guys well hey well our uh Pacer production crew they actually did a spotlight on miss markoff and speaking of miss markoff she's back now all right that's so awesome i know uh, miss markoff we've all Missed you dearly and glad that you're back. So, hey, check out the spotlight that the Pace Production Scholar did. Miss Markup, what do you enjoy working in? Uh, I love getting to share the library books with you guys. My favorite part of my job is getting to do the shopping, and I got to shop for some new books after our book fair. <laughs> that's not one of them, but that's a good one. Unicorns are the worst indeed. <laughs> and I love getting to pick out fun books like this that I know you guys will. Um, what made you want to become a librarian? Good question. Yeah, I really wanted to be a librarian because in college, uh, my favorite place to be was the library. I loved spending time in there getting to research, being surrounded by books, having a quiet space to focus and get my work done, and just a, a community space where everyone feels comfortable and safe, and I hope that that's what I bring here to Ullman. Um, what, what, what do you like doing after you're off of work? Outside of work, um, I love spending time with my cat. He's um, like six months now, really young, and loves to play, so he's a lot of fun. And I like spending time with my friends and family, reading. How long have you been working here? This is my fifth year at Almonds. I can't believe how fast that time has gone, and I've loved 
getting to see you guys grow. <laughs> well, that's all today. <laughs> but see you next time. Sweet beans right here. Well, March, um, as you guys know, is Women's History Month. And you know what? There's a, um, I think I shared about this really particular young, young girl who really is killing it in the podcast industry. Her name right here is Eva Cartman. And if you look, you know, right there, she has her podcast on um, iTunes, on, lists, on Google Play Music, on Stitcher, uh, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. And, and guys, she has hundreds of thousands, I'm, I think it's even maybe possibly some are millions. Just, it is, it's an amazing um, podcast. Um, I listen to it. I think she, she gives, gives episodes maybe like once a week. It's very inspirational, very encouraging. And I just wanted just to give you guys a quick listen of like one minute, just like on her last episode. And so if, if you could just look her up, um, her name, um, Eva Cartman on, on Google, or just look up Dream Big Podcast, but you can find it on all these different platforms. But uh, check this out right here. Hi, this is Eva Cartman, host of the Dream Big Podcast show, the place to go to learn, laugh, and grow. I love it when you discover that something so simple that you do in your life that you know feels good and feels right actually has scientific proof behind it. Today, we're going to be talking about the high five. You know, when your teammate makes a shot and you give him a high five, or maybe your teammate misses the shot and you give him a high five too, as if to say, you got the next one. Well, today, I'll share how the high five is more powerful than any other kind of verbal praise that you can give to a family member, friend, teammate, or anyone you want to encourage and inspire. You know what time it is. This is episode 294 of the Dream Big Podcast, and it's time to dream big. I'm going to go and pause it right there. So just a little snippet right there, scholars. This would be an encouraging uh, podcast to listen to each week. And, and I bring this to your attention, one, so that you can be inspired by her, her messages and the interviews that uh, she does. I think that she does an amazing job, is an amazing communicator. But, but also, just to note, look, at she, I, I believe she's like 12, maybe 13 years old, right? And um, I just want to show you guys that because it just shows that, man, to even though that she's a young girl, she doesn't have to wait until she's an adult to produce content, to get her ideas out there, to research things and to share it. And so this is an inspiration as we are celebrating Women's History Month that you can do great and big things. And, and just as her podcast says, dream big, man. Never put yourself in a box and say, well, because I live here, because this is where I come from, or no, no, we want to put all of those things as that is maybe who you are right now, but you can grow into anything that you want to become. That is so true. It's so powerful, guys, and it always starts in our mindset, which is why I kind of had this little message right here, and that is that your mindset is what builds legacies, okay? A mindset means the, uh, what, the things that you think about yourself. Mindset builds legacy. This is going to work there. Okay, there we go. But uh, very cool right there. All right, guys, well, we got more here that we are sharing. So let's keep it going right there. All righty. Oh, we are pumping it up today. Cool beans. Well, as you guys know, we are in the reading revolution. So awesome, so right. You know what, guys? It was so cool to be part of the third through sixth grade award assembly yesterday in the library. We were on live on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and just to give out all of these different awards, the reading ones, of course, I was so pumped about those ones, but of course, all of them are, are so exciting. And so, yes, we continue to read because that's where it's all about. Come on, y'all. We read. We read. We read, we read, we read, we read. Come on, baby, we read. We read. We read, we read, we read. Sing it passionately, we read. We read. We re 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 re. All right, guys. Here's a little update of where we're at in our reading.
humble beings right there, guys. Well, we continue to lead the way. We continue to press on as it's all about each and every one of you developing the love of reading. And I guarantee it, you pick up a book every day. It may seem like a chore at first, but you pick up a book, a book particularly that you're interested in. It may seem like a chore, I'm telling you. But then when you do it each day, you will develop, you will uh, create a positive habit and then you'll actually want to start reading. I guarantee it will happen, guys. It will. But it's always that first start. So if you're there right now, you can share that with your friends. Say, man, it actually works, guys. It actually works. I love reading the, just the things that I get to think, the things that I get to dream about and see, right, like when you read books. So, hey. I, I want to encourage every single one of you guys to develop that love of reading. It is that game changer. All right, guys. Well, what a morning announcement it was today. Hey, let's go ahead and make this a great day or not. The choice is always yours. Be you.